Here we have only installed Windows 7 in our system. Now we are going to dual boot Ubuntu with respect to this Windows 7. Let's do that. For that you need a DVD of Ubuntu or a bootable pen drive. You can download the latest version of Ubuntu from the site. Here click on the download button. Yes, now save the Ubuntu ISO to your system. Yes, as you can see we have downloaded the ISO file of Ubuntu. Now it's time to write this to one of the DVDs so that we can boot from DVD itself. Here I am able to set Ubuntu DVD as my primary booting device and now you can see it's opening. Yes, now you can see a window came where you can select try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. Now I am selecting try Ubuntu. Now first of all you have to create a specific partition on this hard disk for installing Ubuntu. For that you can search for Gparted software. Yes, Gparted partition editor, click on that. Here you can see in SDA there are three partitions, but if you select SDB, I have allocated this for installing Ubuntu only. Now what I am going to do is, I have to create a region for swapping the Linux. For that you need to right click on the partition, click new, yes, give a 2 GB swap region and from the list you can select Linux swap and click add button. Yeah. Yes, now nearly 7 GB is free for installing Ubuntu. Right click on this partition, click new button. Yeah, it should be ext4, primary partition, rooted, all space we are consuming. Now click add button. For applying the changes, we have to click the apply button. Yeah, all changes are applied, close it. Now you can see we have two partitions, one is for Linux swap 2GB around and one is for the rooted ext4 partition, it is around 8GB. Now close this window. For installing Ubuntu, we have to click on this install Ubuntu link. In the install window, you need to select the language, here I am selecting English, click continue button. Here says, you need at least 6.3 GB available free space. It should be powered till the end and now it is not connected to the internet. Click continue button. This window says it has only Windows 7. Do you want to merge it with Windows 7 or want a customized installation? I am selecting a customized installation. And click continue button. Now the partition manager will come where you can select the partition that you want to select install Ubuntu. Yes, here you can see we have already formatted one is swap region and under this ext4 format. We have to make it as root. Select the ext4 format and click change button. Here you have to select ext4 format and in the mount point set as root. Click OK. Yeah. Now it is formatted as a rooted item where your Ubuntu will be installed. Click on install now button. Now click continue. Here it's asking for the location. Yeah, it's New York. Continue it. Select the language which is English. Yes, give a name name it Linux. Give a password. Now select regret my password on logon. Now click continue button. You can see it has started installation. It is now copying files. If you expand this one, you can trace the what is going on within this installation. Yes, after 3 minutes, the complete installation will be finished. Now it will ask for restart. Click on restart now button. Yes, now when you restart, you can see so many options. In the beginning, it should be Ubuntu 
and in the final it's Android which is Windows 7. So we are able to dual boot Ubuntu and Windows operating system together. Click on Ubuntu. Yeah, now enter. Here you can give the username and password for your Linux operating system. Click enter. So we are able to successfully dual boot Ubuntu and Windows 7 together.